In this video, we will learn about two of the number formatting options, specifically the general number format and the text number format. When we type information in cells in worksheet, Excel tries to understand what type of data it is and it will assign it accordingly. When we type text data, which is author names, book names, basically cell content with some alphabets in it, then automatically Excel detects that it's a text type of data. So it will leave the number format as general, which is the default number format. When we type in numbers, if it is a simple number that it can detect to be just a number, then it will still leave it as a general number format. However, if we type date or time or percentage type of information, then Excel will automatically assign it to a percentage or a date or a time number format. But if it's just a number, then it will still leave it as general. So remember that when you type in numbers like this or text information like this, then Excel will not change the default number format. It will leave it as general. Now, let's understand what this general number format does. As the name indicates, it is a very general number format. So it does not offer a lot of control to you. So you cannot change a whole lot. You don't have a lot of settings or options. It is what it is but it usually works for text information and it will display the text as we enter. So as we type then, it will store it exactly as it is, it displays as it is. And you can leave this format if you're just handling simple text data. When we type numbers, it will display the number as we type it, but as we already saw, if it detects information that is not necessary for example into for 159 if i type 159.00 then it detects that it doesn't need the two zeros after the decimal point so it removes them and stores only 159 in the cell let's say we have a number which is a lot of digits in it for example here i have 10 digits and when i hit enter it still stores it as a general format this column is already auto fitting so you can see all the 10 digits now let's say i want to enter 11th digit here and i enter 11 now it's still okay but if i choose to change the width of this column you can see that this number will change to a scientific number format which is fine and you can the auto fit so that you can see the entire cell but when you go over 11 digits I'm going to type in the 12th digit here and now see what happens. Even if I change my column width, it still will only show the scientific number format if you go over 11 digits. So that's something you need to keep in mind. If you want to display more than 11 digits, then what you can do, I'm going to click here in cell D3 and I'm going to change this to text for number format and then I'm going to type in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0, 1, 2. And you can see that this doesn't change into scientific number format. It just keeps it as the text values. And you can see a small icon pop up here, which just tells me that the number in the cell is formatted as a text. So if I click this, I will see more options here. It is just Excel trying to understand what we are doing and see if we made an error. For example, here we have typed in a number with 12 digits, but we have told Excel to store that as a text number format. So Excel is saying, this is a number that you're storing as text. Do you want to convert to a number format? Or do you want to keep it like that by ignoring this error? Or do you want to change something in your formula, which we will cover later. But for now, we have we can either convert it to a number format, which will change it from text to number. And then, or we can ignore this error. I'm going to click ignore this error because we know that we want to store this as text. So I'm going to ignore that error. So keep in mind that the general format is okay if you're storing simple text data or simple whole numbers, 
but then if you're if you're trying to control how many decimal places you want to show in a number then the general format will not work and if you are typing in information which has more than 11 digits in numbers then also the general format will only show the scientific you will not be able to see all the digits this can be handy for whenever you have long um, product codes or even credit card numbers which has more than 11 digits if you want to display all the digits then choose the text number format and that will help you to display the data as you want it to display a couple of quick tips here when we have multiple cells selected for example d2 which is general number format and d3 which is text number format and i'm selecting both of them by starting from d2 and dragging to select d3 i see that the d2's format will show up here which is general because that's the active cell if i choose d3 and then select d2 this way you will see that text number format shows up here because d3 is the active cell and that has the text number format and just to keep in mind when you select multiple cells it will give you the number format of the active cell not every cell because your if your selection includes multiple number formats but it can only display one here it will display the active cells number format the other thing to note here is that this cell d2 has the same information as cell d3 which is 12 digits in numbers but this is in general number format and if i would like to change this to text let's say i choose text and you can see here that it still holds the scientific number format because it was somewhat stored in that fashion before it doesn't change automatically to display all the digits so in this case if in case you delete this information and then type in those 12 digits displays all the digits now that's because we applied the text number formatting first and then we entered the information originally we were trying to change the number format of the already entered information that doesn't work that much so you would have to delete the cell or delete the content in the cell and then type in the new information now it will treat whatever you enter as text so something to remember that if you want to apply text formatting or if you want to store numbers as text it's a good practice to apply text formatting first and then type in the information for example let me try that here d4 i'm going to convert this to text and then i'm going to start typing my 12 digits that works great but if i type in 12 digits and then i change it from a general to a text format it still doesn't display all the digits and another way to do it would be if i click double click and then hit enter now it refreshes the excel's memory and now it starts treating it as a text number these are a few things that you will come across when you're dealing with numbers that you want to display as text